let's talk about the new SAP machine learning in the SDK for iOS. Hi, I'm Ian Thane. Welcome to another SAP Code Talk. And I'm really pleased to have first timer uh, Vivek joining me from San Ramon, California. Vivek, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. Excellent. So, um, the S uh, SAP Cloud Platform SDK for iOS 3.0, SPO1, what a mouthful, came out a few days ago. And one of the things I spoke to Andreas a few days ago was. SAP Machine Learning OCR. So that's why we've got you here. Tell me, why is it required? Um, well, the, the motivation is basically uh, coming from what uh, we as SAP want to achieve. We want our customers to be uh, intelligent enterprise and giving them some sort of machine learning capabilities will basically, uh, uh, we were trying basically uh, to reach that, uh, reach that goal. Additionally, uh, with the release of Core ML from the Apple side, um, also reconcile with uh, with the Apple SAP partnership on the SDK side. So, so that's that was the main motivation behind this SAP ML new framework. I'm glad you mentioned the Core ML because probably my next question is going to lead you into that. You know, what do we do, and you know, uh, what do we add on to that? Um. So, uh, so we, so we basically we uh, use the underlying Core ML capabilities. And we build on top of it. So the uh, the, uh, the text recognition model that we have run on uh, is a core ML model, and uh, it basically utilizes all the all the advantages of uh, having a core ML model. Um, yeah. So what about things like uh, inputs and you know how do we actually interact? How do we get data into that core ML model? I, mean, I alluded to it with OCR in uh, when I was uh, starting the, the code talk. Right. Yeah. So, um, like at the very high level, uh, the model basically takes a uh, sort of image. But in our ex in a, in our in our offering, basically we offer a real time OCR capability. That means you can uh, you can have a back camera video video frames coming in. We feed those uh, those uh, frames to the model, and uh, uh, in turn, the model basically returns you. The all the recognized strings and their corresponding bounding boxes. Okay, I can think of a few use cases myself. Well, let me put the question to you. What sort of things do you, th when you when you were sort of putting together, what you, what are you envisaging that uh, our users can do with this? Um, well, I mean, uh, I mean, the use cases are basically just born by your imagination. But uh, particularly, like in the various sort of industries, there can be a lot of use cases. For example, you want to. Like scan serial numbers of machine parts, right? Or you want to like scan invoices or bills, right? Uh, or you want to scan cards, like with the membership card, like your credit card or your driver license, your passport, any sort of ID, right? So all those kind of use cases that you can you can build uh, on top of of this very general purpose tech rec uh, text recognition or OCR that we offer as part of this uh, SAP ML framework. It's going to be interesting to see what people uh, create with this. Um, so, just if you can summarize for a few minutes how uh, the developers can use this. Sure. Yeah. So, as I uh, mentioned earlier, uh, at the very high level, this this model basically takes um, takes uh, takes uh, video frames from your back camera, and in return, it will give give you uh, uh, strings and their corresponding uh, current boxes. So that's that's that. Uh, so apart from that model, we also have uh, UI components to it, uh, and so basically these are just like a drop down drop down uh, UI components. For example, you can like app developer can start by simply adding FUI text recognition view controller. Uh, that's that's a that's a out of the box controller that they they can add to their. Uh, Hierarchy, or they can also use uh, FUI text recognition view, which uh, which is just a view inside this controller that I just mentioned. If they want to have a, a more flexibility in terms of view hierarchy, so what does that uh, that that controller or the view does is that um, it will automatically bring up um, the, the 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 preview layer of of the video where the video would be shown to the uh, shown to the customer mm -hmm. or the user, right? Um, 
So that will bring up uh, that will bring up the, the the camera and it will start recording the frames. Uh, as soon as it starts recording the frame, it's going to wait till the hand stabilizes because, like running a particular model or any sort of model uh, on 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 a, iPhone, on a, on a phone uh, is a is a process con consuming task, a, a CPU or GPU uh, uh, intensive task. So we don't want to run our model. If if your hands is shaky and you're not basically pointing at any anything, right? So we basically wait till uh, you to wait till the, the camera stabilizes, uh, and this is all done uh, internally uh, out of the box. Uh, so yeah, it waits waits till the uh, the the, uh, the hand stabilizes, uh, and then it starts running the model with the frames uh, uh, th that are captured after the hand is stabilized. And this is all, uh, you know, as you, as you said, you're all basing this on CoreML, and this is all running within the device itself. There's nothing else sort of like going away to do anything at the back end. That's correct. Yeah. So the, everything that we provide right now is offline. Uh, you don't need any network connectivity at all. Excellent. So uh, this is a, a real sort of uh, high level, get people interested in it. I'm sure we're going to have some questions. And Vivek, I would love to have you back on future Code Talks if you, if you agree. Sure, why not? I'll be I'll be glad to come back again.